A lot of people who haven't actually been a sheep hunter and been on a sheep hunt, you don't realize how tough it is. Sheep live in some of the most unforgiving places in the world. You don't ever start up a mountain without being tested. Whether you're in a gunfight with a grizzly bear or you're in a snowstorm. Probably the quickest way to sum it up is blood, sweat, and tears. I've waited a long two years to get to this point. Starting Road to Talk. Smoke clouds will rise. My name is Kirsty Ennis, and I served six years in the United States Marine Corps as a helicopter door gunner. Growing up, both of my parents were Marines, and I remember just idolizing them and admiring everything that they were doing. I knew deep down I wanted to do that. You know, I was six years old, and I had the Barbies that were dressed up as Marines instead of wearing the princess gowns. In June of 2012, I was involved in a helicopter crash out in Afghanistan. As a result of that, I'm a left leg above the knee amputee um, and sustained various injuries throughout my body. I told myself I wasn't gonna cry before I got up here and um, obviously completely failed at that. When I got out of the Marine Corps, I was forced into a medical retirement and I really thought that I had lost my brotherhood. My first year at Sheep Show last year, I came out here and I was in a terrible state. I left straight from the hospital to come out here and I knew I found my new brotherhood when I got here. People tell me all the time that I'm strong and this, that, and the other, and I pull strength from you guys. I, and I'll always owe you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So thank you all for being a part of my life. Thank you for being a part of my recovery. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I am looking forward to coming back here next year and showing you all pictures of my trophy. <laughs> Survive, nerves and all. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It was great to have people from, you know, what I consider my sheep family out here on this hunt with me. I'm kind of nervous. Getting off that airplane, I mean, I was ecstatic to be here, but I felt like there was a bunch of pressure. And I know mountains, I know hiking, I can do these things, but there's a totally different feeling when, when you realize, oh, yeah, I'm at sheep camp now. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun walking on a new knee. None of it's gonna be easy for me, that's kind of a given, but I've kind of mastered the art form of being comfortable with being uncomfortable. All right, let's do it. We should take that knife ridge up. The reason I say that is that you won't be fighting the shell quite as much climbing. Should be a pretty pretty hard climb, but we'll make it over and see what we got on the other side. I mean, so I have no use of my left leg. My right leg does all of the work. I had some concerns about how her prosthetics would perform in mountain conditions, how she would maintain her balance on the steep hillsides. You know, there's no handicap ramps up to the top of these mountains. This, <laughs> my leg does not like this. We all thoroughly expected me to come out here as a below the knee amputee, which we all make jokes as below the knee amputations being paper cuts, but we were all thrown the curveball that I was gonna be an above the knee amputee. After my injuries, you know, hurt in Afghanistan, I had a long road to recovery and several complications. They ended up having to take my amputation to an above the knee amputation. And during that time, I got very sick. A little bit over a year ago, my wife and I received word that uh, Kirsty was gonna die. It was weird because everyone else around me, everybody, you know, I haven't seen my dad cry too many times in my life, but 
He was crying, my mom was crying. I mean, I told them all bye, and I was okay with it. We said our goodbyes as best we could, and just left the phone on waiting for uh, the text saying that she was gone. But that never came, and here we sit here today on the sheep hunt of a lifetime. Good girlie, my might do it. I think we're going to find a contender right here. It's convenient he's so close. How would you move on him? I think your only option you probably really have is... Up this way? Yeah, because you're not going to go all the way around the back of that. Okay. It's just trying to dig my toe in and balance on the toe. Whoa. Be careful, okay? Not prime spot for Kirstie to slide down. Whoa. I um, definitely caught some air. Luckily, I had Ron behind me to, to stop me from rolling anymore, or else I would have easily dropped 100, 150 yards uh, to the ground, so. Yeah, grace and beauty. This is too much, ain't it? You know what I was actually still kind of considering on is, if this is gonna fog in on us, there's no sense of doing the big climb, you know? I never ask it to be their decision to quit for the day. It's always mine. I'll be the bad guy, because she won't quit. I think the falling, it put really in perspective of how serious this can get. Unfortunately, we're gonna call it. Um, definitely a lot of learning curves found today. Sorry. No, you're fine. We're thinking about side hill and down in that other one, and we'll just walk out the bottom. Right. It's literally half the distance okay. of this. It's definitely gonna be a fine, fine scree. Yeah, I mean, worst, ca worst case, I mean, I have to come down some way, <laughs> so. There was a point at the hunt where I got pretty discouraged. This is not gonna be fun. In the back of my mind thinking, what the hell are you doing? I don't ever think of myself as disabled, but at times you sure as hell feel disabled. Like that's running through your head the whole time. Like, what are you doing? You have one leg. I realize like a lot of the times I feel like I am hindering everybody or I'm making this process a lot harder on everybody. That it might that it might be a little more difficult. Like. And that was kind of like a painful process for me. It's day three of my doll sheep hunt, and while we were ready to go, the weather had different plans. It is wet and miserable outside. It would have been a terrible day for me. Um, yesterday was quite the experience and it was relatively dry. Couldn't imagine going out today with it snowing and with it raining. It looks like uh, we're gonna be stuck inside all day. Day three, Ennis, out. <laughs> <laughs> Day four, and um, everybody's feeling pretty, pretty confident about today. You know, after a whole day of being bogged down, sitting inside, we're all a little stir crazy and ready to get out on the mountain. The chaos has begun. <laughs> Ain't going, not there. There's too much ego out here. The guys are having a little bit of difficulty getting over some of the terrain. It's been quite comical, quite entertaining, and a little bit terrifying. <laughs> Grace and beauty. <laughs> Who would have thought a year and a half after losing my leg, I'd be hunting sheep? <laughs> Choosing my battles, trying to be strategic here. The Shailen Scree got me, it got the best of me at times, and you know, we resorted to, to everything that we could, whether it was me on all fours or crawling up the side of the mountain like some sort of strange beast. Hi, guys. 
maybe struggling at times, but still just the fact that I'm out here crawling around, you know, walking in the back country of Alaska is pretty amazing. I needed kind of that reality check to turn the page and come back the next day stronger than hell. Definitely whatever it takes. Huh? You got ramps. I think there's three good sheep. Three fifty is what she's comfortable at. The thing about three fifty right now is it's not realistic, not for this spot. The plan right now is to get me in the prone, and then uh, once I'm in the prone, um, calm my nerves a bit and pull the trigger. I'm pretty nervous right now. We were skyline; they could see us, so of course we spooked them. That one's big. At about 630 yards, when they were on their way up, I decided I was gonna go ahead and take the shot. He's the back ram. Go a little higher. Okay, I don't know what, yeah, hold it. It's just too damn far, that's all. Well, it's too far and I'm not stable and. It's just too far, that's. I thought I was going to have a long time to set up. Turned in about two minutes. <laughs> Still shook up. Definitely know what I need to do next time. <laughs> Won't somebody tell me Answer if you can I'm Going to ask a question What is the soul of a man? I have a lot of pressure on me to be able to do this. It's gonna have to go across, huh? Yeah, this is gonna suck. Right there, right there, don't move. Don't. This might be our rams. There's like 10 rams right there. We hit the mother load. Oh, My leg's dead, so I can't really bend it anymore. 